steps by Sellen to close out the victory. The Dons sweep it. 25-23 in the first, 25-21 in the second, 25-18 in the third. Mastodons win against Ball State last night. They win against George Mason tonight. Arnie, a 3-0 sweep over George Mason, now eight in a row for the team. What's it like moving forward? <laughs> well, it'll be interesting come Thursday when Leola rolls in here. We'll see what happens then, but certainly we're on a little uh, momentum run. Uh, the, the match last night down at Ball State and the comeback after being down 2-0 was great for our kids, and I really didn't expect this to go 3-0. I think George Mason's a pretty quality team, but I, our kids played pretty well tonight. And you just mentioned it with the win last night at Ball State in five sets. Were you concerned about a possible a letdown, or is it trying to continue that momentum after that win? Well, we talked about a lot, lot about that this morning because we were real concerned about that being such an emotional high, and, a, and especially the way we won and who, the, who we were playing, that our kids wouldn't be ready to play today. And uh, that didn't seem to be the case. I thought we were pretty well focused and emotionally into the match. Puts it in play, Bertrand a good pass. Quick set and down. Burgos was there and the Mastodons take set number two, 25-21. So IPFW, 25-23 in the first, 25-21 in the second, and they are in the driver's seat. Luis Bertrand, the defending MIVA Defensive Player of the Week. Two straight matches with double-digit digs. What's it like watching him dive around the floor like he has been? It's great. We've expected him to do that all along. He decided that that's what he was going to do, and it makes a huge difference in our backcourt defense because it becomes contagious. And I'm real, real happy with Louis' play right now. And another impressive outing for IPFW, ranked 10th in the country.